Let's talk about your old squad, Soccer shall drop. we? The Jets, they are picking at three this year, mm -hmm. third overall. They obviously don't need a quarterback, so let's bring in Peter Schrager. And let's not forget how they got here, right? They last year traded from number six up to three for a couple of uh, third round picks, was it? No, it was three second three round two. picks. Uh, and now here they are picking at number three overall. What should they do? Yeah, it's interesting, Kay, because their offense was anemic this year. Obviously, Sam Darnold had his bumps and bruises, but there was no real running back or wide receiver that blew you away. So you would think, get the greatest skill position player. I don't think the wide receivers and running backs groups in this draft are worthy of the number three overall pick. However, the pass rushers are. And when you've got Jamal Adams as your safety and Leonard Williams as your big boy in the middle as the cornerstones of this team for the future, the only other piece you need on defense is that pass rusher. And oh, guess what? There's there's a bevy of them in this draft, and I'm falling in love, yes, falling in love with Josh Allen out of Kentucky. Last night, I was talking to an NFL source, and he tells me this. Josh Allen had seven sacks his junior year in the SEC, was a very good player, could have left and been a day one, day two pick. He already had a child, and everyone in his ear is saying, go to the NFL, go to the NFL. And he said, no, I think I need to bulk up a little bit more, and I think there's more to do in college. What'd he do? Josh Allen had 17 sacks at Kentucky last year. Seven 17 sacks, comes out of the gates, has this fantastic senior season, dominates at every level, and from everyone I speak to, and it's been a very small period since I've gotten here, they're all saying, make sure you watch the NFL Network on Sunday. Make sure you set your DVR on Sunday. Make sure you are there for when Josh Allen does his defensive drills at the Combine. He's about to blow this thing out of the water. So if everyone wants to talk Joey Bosa one, and everyone wants to talk Quinn and Williams, and there's all these other names, if I'm the Jets, I am looking at Kentucky. I'm looking at number 41, and if Josh Allen can fall to be at number three, don't get cute. Take the guy that everyone else is saying is going to be the high-rising prospect here at the Combine. There's a lot of pass rushers. You're <laughs> saying stay put at number three. Don't trade down like many people are talking about. Trey's live in Indianapolis. He's got coaches and just famous people out yeah. there in Indianapolis <laughs> to hang out with later on the show, so don't miss that. But Bart, what do you make of that? You gotta love the underwear Olympics, right? Where stock rises. <laughs> and you never know. <laughs> I want to see him do his drills and, and shoulder pads with the offensive lineman on him. You know, I, I think you have to be able to, what the Jets need is players. Okay. Right? And we saw the this? Indianapolis Colts last year, yeah. you know, players. And they were able to get Quentin Nelson. They were able to get Braden Smith. They were able to get Darius Leonard. I think the Jets should move back. And I'm proposing a trade. And the trade is moving back to seven <laughs> and letting the Jacksonville Jaguars come up. And I want your number one next year. Swap number ones this year. Okay, I good want, luck. I want your number two. Right. And I want Leonard Fournette. Mm. Right, Leonard Fournette is on the outs. Uh, you, you think about Coughlin trying to go after his guaranteed money after the fight with Lawson up in Buffalo. Right. No, now you're able to, to address a lot of needs because there's, you know, 38, I believe, is their second round. So they, the Jets don't have a second round draft mm. pick. You know, you move back and you acquire picks. You look at what Indianapolis did. All those guys, you know, you got two pro bowlers out of that or all pro, should have been yeah. a pro bowler in Leonard. You yeah. got Quentin Nelson. You got Bray Smith who started for you. And they also got uh, Kimoko um, Ture. Yeah. I believe four sacks last year from Rutgers. Right. So I think you move back and you get talent on this team. The mm. Jets only have 39 players under contract okay. currently. That's but I brought up crazy. How, how we got here with the Jets, with Peter Schrager. So they went from six to three last year, mm. and they only gave up three, three second-round picks. Yeah. Yet you want the Jags to give up another first and a second and four net. How, just a first now. and a second. Yeah. That's basically it. You're you swapping. You, you're moving all the way to three. What did they give up for RG3? Put it to the Twitterverse. I would love to put that to the <laughs> Put Twitterverse. it to the Twitterverse. Hashtag GMFB. I, like I love that. the fact that he brought up pass rushers. 29th, 29th defense last year.